Hey there, it's Clay Knight here. Just wanted to do a quick video today about uh, fragrance. Some of you guys know that uh, I'm into fragrances. I'm kind of a frag head. And uh, I'm not as big into it as some people are, mostly because my financial situation won't allow me to buy every fragrance that I'm interested in. But I've been collecting for a little while and I have quite a few fragrances and decants. Uh, you can see some of my fragrances right behind me. Uh, today's fragrance is by Creed, the House of Creed. Uh, this is a decant of Melissa Me Imperial. Uh, I don't know if I said that exactly correctly because a lot of these fragrances are pronounced in French or other languages that uh, are not native to me. But uh, Melissa Me uh, Imperial or Imperial is a fresh aquatic um, scent that is classified I think as a like a woody floral musk or something but uh, if you go to Fragrantica but what you get off of this fragrance or at least what I get off of this fragrance is an aquatic note uh, some salt so sea salt aquatic uh, I get the the lemon and bergamot in the opening and then in the dry down uh, especially towards the later end of the, the fragrance life, uh, I get that woody musk that comes uh, out as you lose the citrus opening, which citrus scents te typically tend to fall away pretty quickly. They just don't stick around like the other notes. It's hard to make uh, those light citrus fragrances last, but... This is a really good fragrance. The House of Creed makes extremely high quality fragrances, uh, as I'm sure any fragrance lover knows. Um, I love the House of Creed. Pretty much everything I've tried from them has been good uh, to great, depending on the fragrance. Some of their stuff is extremely unique. Others are very mass appealing. This is a uh, kind of in between. It's a mass appealing fragrance to a degree. Some people are going to find that salty uh, aquatic note not to their, their liking, but I really enjoy it. The, the musky dry down is nice. Um, the performance on this fragrance isn't crazy for me, at least off of my skin. And I typically apply some unscented lotion to my skin before I apply my fragrance to help with longevity. But I get about, you know, five hours... Uh, maybe six hours max with this fragrance uh, with about two hours of, of projection uh, and the, the latter three to four hours being a skin scent um, very close to the skin. Uh, you're not going to smell this, you know, at a distance if I walk into a room unless I just applied it. But it's a very nice scent that's fresh, good for the summer. Uh, and that's what I'm wearing today. I will reapply this um, very shortly because I've had it on for quite a few hours. And right now it's just a close to the skin, kind of a, a musky wood scent uh, that I can pick up. And I really like the opening, which is typical of a lot of fragrances. The opening is what uh, people notice immediately when they put something on. That's what they think of when they think of that fragrance. But if you get a chance and you like a, a fresh aquatic, a salty marine type scent with some lemon and, and bergamot in the opening, uh, check out this scent. You'll probably like it. You can get decants, uh, you know, at a, at a more affordable price than the full size presentation. Um, so, you know, I urge people to, to try things by getting a decant first, uh, especially with Creed um, and some of the higher end niche fragrance companies. You're going to pay hundreds of dollars for a bottle of something you haven't tried uh, is kind of risky. So that's my fragrance for the day. And if you like fragrances, I will be doing more uh, fragrance content in the future. So tune in for that. Uh, as always, be well, be blessed, and be kind.